This session is from Let's Learn the Concept in 5 to 10 Minutes series. This 5 minutes videos will help in case you are going for interview and need to go through and brush up the concept quickly. Playlist will be updated every week, so subscribe to the channel to see more such content anytime and share if you like it. All the best. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to see another important intro question in Selenium. How to create a generic utility method to press a keyboard key and same key should be pressed as per the user input in Selenium WebDriver. So what we are going to do is uh, let me show you that scenario also. So normally when we are testing any application we use our mouse uh, movement right. We will move our mouse to this email field. We will enter our data then we will move our mouse to password then click it and enter the data and then we will move our mouse again to the sign in button and then click on that okay so without moving this mouse i need to use the keyboard keys to enter the data to press uh, the sign in button so how will you do that so normally we press the tab button so using tab you can move from one field to another so this is the third fourth and fifth time so if i press tab five times on this linkedin.com i will be able to enter my email id directly i am not moving my mouse at all so i will enter my email id then i will again press tab button then enter my password okay and then i can press the enter button so without moving my mouse without clicking on sign in with the help of enter button i am able to process the sign in okay so it is giving the error message so this type of testing without using your mouse the keyboard testing is also important for uh, most of the application and most of the companies do this testing also right they will not use any mouse uh, movements they will use the keyboard only pressing the keyboard keys and with the help of keyboard uh, different keys like control button alt button uh, shift button or uh, space bar enter button then we have page up page down button end button home button okay uh, arrows are there so, okay so all these buttons uh, keyboard keys we are going to use for testing any application okay so in that scenario you need to create a generic utility method so that I will send what key I need to press okay and how many times I need to press it okay. so these two input I will provide to that method and that method should work like if I uh, want to press the tab key for five times for example here in application we press the five times tab then we get to this email id so i will provide tab button i need to press okay here and i need to press it for five times like that so this input i will provide to that method and that method should uh, press this tab key five times so this is how you need to create a generic utility method okay so this is one of the important interview question so let us go and quickly create that method so in this class keyboard actions i have a public static void main method okay so from this method we will call our utility method so this is our utility method public static void press keyboard key okay so this is our uh, utility method so this method is going to accept two arguments so string key input let's say okay so i will pass what key i need to press comma and second parameter is let's say integer uh, iteration okay so how many times i need to press that key so i'm going to create that method here so first of all uh, we will have a loop like we need to use the loop and inside that loop we, we will run that loop as many times we have this value iterations value okay so here i will declare a for loop integer i equal to let's start with one i is less than equal to let's say iterations and i plus plus okay so inside this for loop we will add our utility code so what i am going to do i am going to use the switch case statement here so switch okay so on the basis of this key input i am going to press the key okay so i will create different uh, cases for this different key input so i will press this key input here okay so i will have to create different cases now so first case let's say 
टैप किया टू प्रेस द टैप सो टू प्रेसिंग एनी की यू नीट टू यूज रोबोट क्लास इन सेलेन एम एफ ड्राइवर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द रोबोट क्लास सो टू कॉल द मेथड्स फ्रॉम दिस रोबोट क्लास फर्स्ट वी विल हैव टू क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ रोबोट क्लास सो रोबोट रोबोट इक्वल टू न्यू रोबोट So you just have to import it now. Remote from Java AWT. Okay, we need to surround it with the try catch. So what we'll do? We'll add try here, and all the code we will add in inside this try. So this is where our try will end, and here I will add the catch block so any kind of exception we will print it okay so let me check it okay, it is coming here okay that is good so we have created the object of robot class now using this robot object we are going to call this method so what method is there to press the key in robot class robot dot key press method okay so here you need to use the key event key event dot vk so here we need to provide what key you need to press so first we are going to press the tab so you need to press the tab okay and after pressing that key you need to release it otherwise it will keep pressing that tab key okay it is not good so we need to release that key so immediately we will use robot dot key release method okay and same key we need to release right whatever we have pressed we need to release it and save it so this is our first case in case user want to press the tab key he will send tab and iteration how many iteration you need to press the tab key and accordingly this case will be executed and here we are pressing the tab key and then we are releasing it immediately okay so for different keys we can uh, you just have to create the different cases now okay so let me add different cases for uh, shift button space bar enter button okay uh, control alt okay so let me create it okay so i have created different cases so one we have already created for the tab okay so make sure you need to add the break statement in every case so i created for enter button control shift space okay so it's up to you uh, as per your requirement you can create the multiple cases here page up page down okay and this is the default case in case if input is not sent to this method uh, this statement will be displayed okay so whole code is inside the try right so if any exception comes that will print in the console so our method uh, utility method is ready so we just have to test it so from this main method we are going to call this method so first what we will do we will open chrome and we will open the linkedin side so using web drawer manager we are going to set up the chrome then we will open route dot gate this url okay and after that we need to press tab key five times right so we are going to call this method so press keyboard key so this method requires uh, the key you need to press so here i am going to press tab key and comma how many times i need to press it five times okay so this method will be called this input will be cached here and uh, we will get the robot class object here and this for loop will be executed then so for first iteration it will go key input value will be tab so it will execute this tab case right so it will go and press the tab key and then release it and due to this break statement it will directly come to the end point so again for loop iteration i will be increased again for second iteration key input will be the same tab again the same case will be called 
okay and this iteration keeps on up to the five iterations right so we have written the condition as i less than equal to iteration means i less than equal to five so five times tab key should be pressed okay and uh, after every tab key press uh, let me add some thread dot slip so that we will be able to see if it is working or not otherwise it will happen so quickly so thread dot slip we will give some let's say one second of delay okay so i think method is good so let's go and uh, run this and let's see if it is working or not okay so it has opened linkedin okay so it has pressed tab then one second okay you can see that finally it is come to the email field after pressing the five times tab key okay so this is how you can create the generic method so it's up to you what key you need to press and how many times you need to press so after that if i want to press the enter key so what i will do i will just pass enter from here so i need to press the enter enter and press it only once and save it okay so let me maximize it okay so it will go to the linkedin it will come to this email field and it will directly press the enter so that you will be able to see this error Okay, it is working four times three times and now it will press enter okay so now you can see that this error is showing that means it has pressed the enter key so this is this very simple uh, utility generic method which will accept key you need to press and then you need to send the iteration means how many times you need to press that key and accordingly using this switch case statement you just have to uh, use the robot class object for pressing any key you have key press method for releasing the same key right you need to release that key immediately otherwise it will keep pressing that so you need to use the key release method and or your uh, key name okay so i have created some cases here for different keys uh, you can try your own and add more and more cases for different keys on the keyboard so that's all for this session i hope uh, this session will help you in the interviews and you can implement same logic in your uh, current project your real time project also for pressing any keyboard key Okay, so let me know if you have any question on this. I will see you in the next video soon. Thank you.